This afternoon, the wife of one of the victims in the Mueller shooting is sharing her husband's legacy. David Horton's wife, Taryn, described him as a great husband, father, and pop-pop. Way -pop. 31's Ashley Carter is live outside the family's church. Ashley, the, the pain must just now be sinking in for this family today. I've been communicating with David's wife, Taryn, all day today, and she told me that she's still in grief and mourning the sudden loss of her husband. It's why she couldn't come to speak to me on camera today, but she did send me a statement about her beloved David. David was the best of us. It's the words Taryn Horton used to describe the husband she'd been married to for nearly a decade. She said he was her other half and she knew how much he adored her. She said David was always smiling and joking and was an amazing father, stepfather, and pop-pop to their two grandkids. She said he loved his children more than life and his son and daughter were his pride. He also adored her children, who he'd helped raise for the last 12 years. Taryn says when she received the news David was gone, she refused to go inside their house for hours, hoping he would show up and pull into their driveway. Now she says their family is broken, and what happened isn't fair to either of the victim's families, as well as a shooter who took his own life. In the statement Horton sent me, she says we are all devastated. This shouldn't have happened to anyone. David didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. In speaking about her feelings towards the man accused of taking her husband's life, Taryn says this, I want to be angry. Maybe that will come later because there is no justice for David and his co-workers. I feel sorry for him and his family, and I hope we can all get answers. The family is currently working out funeral arrangements, but they did want to take the time to thank the police department, Mueller, and the pastor of this church that they attend. Right now, they said that the support has been overwhelming. Live in Albertville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News.